Welcome to another video on the fossil record. My name is Benjamin Berger. One of the most unusual and often neglected dinosaur families are the spiny, long-necked dinosaurs that belong to the family Dichrysoridae. The initial discovery of these bizarre dinosaurs occurred during an expedition to Africa in what was, at the time, German East Africa. German East Africa was a short-lived European colony which had become established in East Africa, having been acquired by the German government during a revolt that took place in 1888 against the German East African Company. German interests in the wealth of minerals and plantations in the region, such as gold, diamonds, and crops of coffee and rubber, and eventually cotton, led to its eventual control by the German government. During its short-lived existence, the German military suppressed a number of revolts against its authority. The last and likely worst of these rebellions was the delhi maija maija War, which is estimated to have resulted in the death of 300,000 people. At the conclusion of the war in July 1907, much of German East Africa returned to a peaceful but oppressed region until the outbreak of World War I, in which German forces faced Portuguese and English troops beginning in 1914 and resulted in a protracted African engagement during World War I for many years. At the conclusion of the war in 1919, the region became divided among Belgium and England following Germany's defeat in East Africa. It was during the short, peaceful five years between 1907 and 1912 that dinosaurs were first discovered in the region, in what today is the Lindi province of southern Tanzania, near the city of Mokendria. The region of the country lays between the rich mines in the interior of the country and the coastal ports with the Indian Ocean. A German mining engineer named Bernard Saitler was traveling through this region when he noticed large dinosaur bones eroding from the steep hills along the road. The discovery of these bones was reported to Eberhard Franz, a well-respected paleontologist from the Stuttgart Natural History Museum, who visited the dinosaur-bearing rocks in 1907 and spent the year collecting in the Tenaguru Formation, which was identified as being late Jurassic in age. Franz returned to Germany and prepared the giant dinosaur bones, which he attributed to Brachiosaurus, a, a long-necked dinosaur found in the American West, and published a paper in 1908. However, another team of German paleontologists from the Berlin Museum of Natural History arrived in 1908, led by its senior paleontologist, a man named Warner Janich. Warner Janich and his team from Berlin were better funded, and they collected for three years, from 1908 to 1911. This expedition resulted in a large collection of sauropod dinosaurs, some of which differed from the bones attributed to Brachiosaurus. Among this collection was a series of weird vertebrae, or backbones, that featured elongated neural spines in the neck vertebrae, or cervical which were bifurcated or split along the spine of the animal's long neck. This unique feature led Warner Janich to name the dinosaur Dicryosaurus, or uh, meaning the bifurcated lizard. In 1912, the last German expedition was led by Ina Reck and her husband Hans, who would become famous when he discovered early humans in Old Divide Gorge in the northern part of the country and took Louis Leakey there in 1931. The specimens of Dicryosaurus back in Berlin consisted of a series of moderately large vertebrae but lacked a skull and much of the skeleton. The unique and strangely shaped backbones did not attract much interest, although Warner Janich published on the fossils throughout his life 
despite two world wars, and a reconstruction of the dinosaur is on display in Berlin. The dinosaur, however, is dwarfed by the giant sauropod collected from the same area and identified as Brachiosaurus, but today is placed in the genus Giraffatitan. The smaller Dicryosaurus was largely a forgotten dinosaur for many years. In 1984, a young jovial student named Guillermo Roger was collecting dinosaurs in South America with a crew led by the world-famous Argentine paleontologist Jose Bonaparte when he found a mid-size sauropod dinosaur in the early Cretaceous La Amerga formation in northern Patagonia. Much like the dinosaur from Africa, this new dinosaur exhibited bifurcated neural arches that extended from the centrum of the neck vertebrae, which were even more elongated and narrowed and tapering upward. The neck vertebrae appear to have served as a row of defensive spines along the neck of the animal. The arrangement of these spikes along the neck were likely used to fend off carnivorous dinosaurs like Carnotaurus that lived alongside this dinosaur. Named Agamerosaurus, paleontologists have speculated and debated whether the paired elongated neural arches extended out of the skin and were covered in a keratin sheath like bovid horns, or whether the bony spikes could have served as attachment sites for a broad sail down the length of the neck, making the animal appear larger to predators or used in signaling to mates. In the last two weeks of 2019, two new spiny neck dinosaurs have been named, Pilmatie and Bahadasaurus from the early Cretaceous of South America. Pilmatia is known from a series of vertebrae that feature bifurcation of the neural spine, extending further down the back into the dorsal vertebrae above the chest and, and towards the hip of the animal, while Bahas, Bahadasaurus exhibits narrow and greatly elongated spikes extending out of the cervical or neck vertebrae. These spikes extend over half a meter above the centrum of the vertebrae. Bahadasaurus was found in the slightly older, early Cretaceous Bahada Colorada formation, while Pilmatie is known from the uh, Molcheco formation, which sits above the Bahadi Colorada formation, with the uh, rock units dated to around 139.8 million years ago. A number of skull bones of both Agamasaurus and Bahadasaurus demonstrate a skull that closely resembles that of the Jurassic Diplodocus, with long, nipping, pencil-like teeth and a longer, more narrow skull than other sauropod dinosaurs. An older, late Jurassic dinosaur from South America is known, Brachytracheopan, which lacks the elongated neck spines, but the entire row of cervical vertebrae are bifurcated into two pair, paired short spines extending from the, the neural arch, much like the African dinosaur, Dicryosaurus. Paleontologists were interested in learning the relationship between this unique group of spiny, long-necked dinosaurs in South America and Africa, and whether there were some northern hemisphere long-necked dinosaurs which exhibited this unique bifurcation of the cervical vertebrae. No northern hemisphere sauropod dinosaurs are currently known that feature the elongated neck spines, like those seen in Agamasaurus and Bahadasaurus. Although there are a few which have bifurcated cervical neural arches. 
Discovered in 2018, the Chinese Middle Jurassic dinosaur, Ling Wu Long, has robust, um, short, bifurcated cervical neural arches. Viewed as a primitive sauropod given its age, Xu Xing and his team of international researchers placed the dinosaur within the spiny, long-necked dinosaur family, Dicryosauridae, largely because of this feature of bifurcation in the cervical vertebrae. In North America, the obscure late Jurassic sauropod dinosaur, Suwazia, from Montana, demonstrates bifurcated cervical vertebrae, although neither of these dinosaurs are anywhere close to the extremely long neck spines seen in South American dinosaurs. However, Lu Wilong and Suawazi are often placed as basal members of the group. The geographic distribution of the unique and bizarre spiny long-necked dinosaurs in South America and Africa is likely a result of reproductive isolation of populations of dinosaurs that began with the breakup of the supercontinent Pangaea during the Jurassic and Cretaceous periods when these dinosaurs lived. The southern South America and African continents and the northern continents of North America and Eurasia were isolated from each other. While these spiny long-necked dinosaurs never really took off and gradually became extinct in the northern hemisphere, they, they flourished in South America and Africa and likely are a unique southern hemisphere group. Given how many new spiny long-necked dinosaurs have been found in recent years, it's exciting to learn of new dinosaurs belonging to this largely neglected group of long-necked dinosaurs, which are much more diverse than previously understood. I want to thank Brian Clever, Pablo Lozato Figuez, Arcotis 1811, Justin Bovey, Emmett Larson, and Marlo Andreco, and Fred Olney. Thank you everyone for your support on Patreon. If you'd like to learn more about supporting these educational videos on paleontology and geology, check out the link in the description below.